Yeah, hi there. We have come to Bremerton today for a really powerful story. And I should warn you, this is about a very heavy topic, but I think you'll like how it ends. And this is a great perspective moment for all of us. There are people who have tough jobs, and then there are people who have truly tough jobs. Just ask the Kitsap County coroner. There was a death of a baby on Saturday. My investigator called me back when she was heading back to the office and she goes, we just used the last of our baby blankets. And when this call came, it was a no-brainer. Admittedly, I was a little nervous about visiting the coroner's office mm -hmm. and it was gonna be a new one for me, but the need was, it was just, there was just no doubt. So I reached out through Facebook to see if we could get some quilts. So this is what showed up. Wow, they delivered. They did. Project Linus already has a blanketeer army. We do, we have a big blanketeer army. And I put it out there for our members, but obviously it had already been out in Facebook. And our community, this is a wonderful community outreach. And obviously a lot of people wanted to help. Yeah. I had a baby brother who died when he was a month old. Yeah, I still um, almost cry or do cry when I think about my brother. He'd be 63 this year. Mm -hmm. But that's what spoke to me with this project as I've thought about him. And mm -hmm. so, You know, I look at these blankets and I see the faces of children that, you know, I've met and had to say goodbye to. And um, I know I'm not the only one in the community that has had to say goodbye. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I walked in the room and I cried because it's just that impactful, you know, to have our community come together so quickly for our children. Be careful what you wish for unfolded. It, and it did, and this actually took a tragedy and turned it into a great rallying point for the community. What a wonderful thing.